about the late beginning. Um, uh, so it's my great pleasure today to, um, to introduce to you uh, Dr. Eladine Nouriga. Uh, Dr. Nouriga is an architect and the principal of MBJ Architect in Montpellier. Uh, Dr. Nouriga earned her PhD in architecture under the supervision of Chris Younes. Um, uh, for those of you that are not familiar with uh, Dr. Younes, she's an extremely uh, prolific, influential philosopher of architecture and um, uh, urban space. Um, and she earned her PhD at the Paris La Villette, La Villette École Nationale Supérieure d'Architecture um, and is currently teaching at the uh, École Nationale Supérieure d'Architecture in Montpellier. Um, uh, Dr. Nurega has wrapped up an impressive number of awards, uh, including Europe 40 Under 40, uh, that was awarded by the European Center for Architecture, Art, Design, and Urban Studies. Um, the Atkins Inspire Award for her contributions to civil engineering, um, and was even shortlisted for the uh, Prix de la Femme Architect uh, for Women in Architecture, uh, that was awarded by the French Ministry of Culture, the Ministry of Women's Rights, and the Europe National des Architectes in France. Um, not only uh, has Dr. Nouriga established an award-winning design practice, but as um, some of you, I think, today in uh, Professor um, uh, Publi's uh, studio uh, witnessed, she's also very much engaged in the cultivation of young architects, uh, both in her teaching um, in exotic locations like Australia, Japan, and Kentucky. Um, and as well as the organization of the Festival of Lively Architecture, the yeah. Festival of uh, Architecture in Montpellier. Uh, Dr. Nouriga's uh, talk for us today is entitled From Architecture to Environment, um, Environment, the Environment of Architecture, and I'll let her explain to you exactly what that means. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this uh, introduction, and I would like to say my pleasure to be there with you for uh, uh, this, uh, this lecture. In fact, in the title of this lecture that I want to, um, to show, uh, it's a different manner to be an uh, architect, and how for us it's important to have a, a different position. Sure, to be architect is to construct. But to be architect, it's to be engaged in the education system too. And for us to be architect, it's to, to engage in the um, a manner to uh, value our own, pro our own profession uh, with uh, uh, this festival and a manner to open the discussion of architecture with a large public and not only b between architects. So it's uh, these three manner to be architect, it's these three two kind of practice that I want to develop uh, with you uh, this, um, this afternoon. So, uh, in first, the question of education in architecture. We, and all the time I say we because uh, I'm alone there, but in fact we are three partners, and especially uh, two that we create NB at the beginning, and now it's NBG. So we are the new partner with us. And we have, ah, huh, have something. It's going to restart. It's not good. Five? Quatre hours. We are four hours. <laughs> I think it's enough. <laughs> I try to do shortly. <laughs> so uh, this question of, uh, of um, Education, I think it's uh, very important for us to engage uh, in education system. So in the School of Architecture of Montpellier, we uh, develop a specific master. And the name of uh, uh, this master is uh, the Southern Metropolises. So um, that we, we try to do in, uh, in this master. So in the French system, the master is just before to be architect. 
So it's not a postgraduate program, but it's, uh, you know, in the French system, it's five years to study, and at the end of the five years, you have the title of architect. So it's a second part just before to be architect. In this master, in, uh, that we want to uh, develop this idea of uh, Metropole du Sud, Southern Metropolitans, with uh, four different engagements. The first is to think the South not like a specific locality. We don't want to walk only around the Mediterranean Sea or only under the geographic South, but as a concept and a concept of a new manner to thinking the locality. After, it's uh, uh, the thinking the territory and uh, the specificity of the territory as uh, a thing more important than a general rule, especially in the field of uh, sustainable development. I don't know how it's there for you in USA, but in France, we have many, many, many rules, and we have to apply all these rules, and that it's very terrific. It's at the end, you have more rules than you have architecture. So you forget to do some architecture, how you have to manage with many rules. So it's to restart to thinking in first by architecture and the rule arrive after. The first way of uh, this uh, uh, the southern metropolis is to think the locality as a spatial and architectural system and not as a steel and not as a specific style of architecture. It's not a style of North of Europe, a style of South of Europe, but it's a system to develop the, specific, the specificity of a territory. And after the last, it's to build the project between the, two, the different scale, to all the time to give us the students this capacity to think the project at the urban and the architectural scale. That we really want to do is to not separate uh, usually you have uh, the urban architect and the architect and after you have the interior architect. That we, we try to explain that the student it's all this manner uh, work with the same system of the project. And the main important thing is to have the capacity to cross all the scale of a project of architecture, a project of urban architecture of landscape. So this capacity to cross the scale is one of the most important things. So Southern Metropolis is, in fact, it's a five different things. Of course, a field of study in the School of Architecture in Montpellier, uh, associated with a seminary, a place with a theory approach, a thesis, so you have to do a thesis at the end for, uh, to present a diploma to be architect. On the other way, we have a laboratory, work on the same um, thematic with a, with a different professional architect. And at the end, it's association with alumni, of course. For you, it's very, it's very usually to have uh, this kind of association. In France, it's uh, really new because we are really in the other system. So that we try to do in this uh, uh, program, it's um, construct a program on three years, uh, on four years. During the three first year, we are going to visit some other countries that, that they our home territory for have another manner to approach the question of the locality. So we start with the city of Genova, and all the time we work with the uh, uh, university on the place. In Genova, we work with Manuel Gaussa. It's a famous uh, theorist of urban architecture. He's a, a director of PhD in Genova. In Valencia, the so year after, so we are going, the student do some project in the city, did some project in the city of Valencia. In Istanbul, the so year after. And after this uh, three years, we come back in Montpellier for try to have another manner to see our own territory after to learn from outside. The idea is not to find some very good idea after outside and come back with in it. It's just to start 
to, uh, it's like a training, to training to understand the question of the locality in the situations that you don't know, because it's not your own situation. It's not the usually the situation where, where you do some project. So after that, we need to start a new cycle with uh, last year in Pampelona. And this year, we are going, uh, next year, we, uh, in a few weeks, we are going with a student in Lisboa, Lisboa for work on this new territory. So all the time, we did some study visit in Genova, in Valencia. We met some different uh, persons, some different um, students too, and we work with uh, like a small workshop on site with a student and uh, it was the same uh, in Istanbul. We visit some, of course, very interesting architecture during this, uh, it's between one or two weeks of uh, study visit. And uh, um, this is, it's a group of students uh, in Pamplona. So the master program, it's 100 students by here. So uh, all the time we organize a travel for 100 students uh, and it's a huge logistic, of course, for move all the students. And uh, this is, it was in Pamplona. We work with uh, um, uh, the, the architect uh, uh, Pachi Mangado in Spain. He's a very famous architect, and I think he, he teach uh, in USA in Cornell. So in it, that we try to do after it uh, to find a different manner to, manner to engage the project. So we have different thematic for engage the project. The first, it was uh, it's the interconnectivity and the flow. How, in fact, if you work with a different scale of the project, the project to be in capacity to create this interconnectivity and to use the flow like um, a manner to interest inside the project. So at the beginning, the student work only in the model. So it's just an urban model to, defin to define the manner of they want to engage their own project. And after that, the, the, the step after is it's a, to a thinking of uh, the strategy of territory. So we, that we try to do, it's a, in first to think a strategy before to design anything. It's like when you start some project in architecture, you think about a concept, but at the large scale, you must have a strategy of a territory. So the students work on the different scales, so on the scale of the city, and after they focus on architectural project. So this is some example, uh, it's an uh, um, intermodality uh, building, was connecting different flow and how, in fact, it could work, this project at a large scale and at a smaller scale. So we don't want necessarily that the student work with a very realistic project because, for example, it's uh, only the project on underground, but that is interesting. It's to have the capacity to keep your strategy at the different scale and that your strategy work at the scale of the territory and the work at the scale of your project and, if you could, at the scale of the detail of your project. So we have some uh, time very um, utopic project, but that is very important. It's really to cross all these different scale of the project. And in this way, it to think with the master plan, with this kind of, uh, of project, how, in fact, the, architectural, the architecture could be a link between uh, the territory and the small scale. The other uh, thematic, it's an urban connection. So it's how, in fact, a piece of uh, um, um, urbanity, we could say like that, have the capacity to create a new connection for the city. So it's the same, they work again with a large scale. So it's just a different manner to uh, uh, create, in fact, the project. So we really want to use and that the student understand the capacity of a diagram to, to uh, explain their own project. The diagram is a very something specific for the architect. 
and we must use diagram for explain how your architecture because it's a manner to drawing quickly an idea. So uh, about this question of the connection, so uh, the urban connection could be of course on the flat level, but it could be on, uh, for example, this project work with uh, uh, urban, a vertical urban connection. How you could think the city not on the two dimension, but the city on the three dimension, and how the project, the architectural project, could be work on this scale. So. As you could see, have some very different. After we, that for us it's important. It's that students could develop their own uh, design. We are not very focused on the shape of uh, uh, the architecture they produce, but we are more focused on the logic of their own strategy. And after, it's the responsibility of each student about the shape, about the aesthetic, and it's what you want to do, and for us it's very, that it's very important. So um, you could see it's a very different thing, and all the time, for example, this one is really work with a, a very um, specific scale of uh, like a, a pixel of uh, uh, the, the project. The third way, it's a project as a landscape, and again, how, in fact, the project could be a part of the large landscape and could be included inside the strategy of urban development. We, in the second, in Pamplona, we work a lot about the question of uh, uh, urban agriculture. Uh, it, I think it's one of the important things uh, now to uh, thinking another way to integrate uh, the landscape, the nature, uh, inside the urban scale. And the question of uh, urban agri agriculture, it's one of the best way to uh, start to thinking, not only with uh, like a small beautiful garden, but really like a system to develop, to have another manner to thinking and to develop the city. To cross, again, this idea to cross a different scale, to cross the different idea, you don't have the landscape and the urban uh, scale, but you have to work with the both, and the question of uh, um, urban agriculture, it's one of the good ways to address this, this uh, new question. So after, it's uh, the different things they, they propose, again, with uh, a stratification about this different way to, uh, to do it. So in this, uh, in this question, so after, we have uh, again another and it was the, the ah no okay. so uh, the last it's a question of uh, uh, littoral and transition all the city we choose in the first time is connect with the sea the question of uh, reutilization, of uh, renovation of the port, many ports in Europe, now have the activity go very down, and uh, it's a very specific uh, space, and how we could think differently, and how the city could be now more in link with uh, a littoral, and not uh, only with a boundary, that the different port uh, create before. So this is it's, uh, uh, another manner to, uh, to work about this question of uh, the specificity. This is it was uh, in Istanbul, for example, and the question of uh, the link between the city and the Bosphor, it's a very important question because usually sometimes you have some city, they are near some sea, but in fact they turn uh, the face of the sea. And this question of uh, a requalification of the port, of a manner to connect again the city on the sea by extension or by very specific project, it was a very good system for uh, try this uh, question of the specificity of the landscape, the specificity of the city too. So all this one, it was uh, uh, in... Um, in Istanbul. 
And this is it was uh, in Valencia. Uh, and that it's interesting, it's a support completely changed a face after the Cup of America, a very famous uh, uh, race. And uh, um, now it's how we could do after this event, how an event changed a face of, uh, of a city, in fact, and how we could do after. So this is the team that we have in 2014. So it's 100 students less, perhaps. But, uh, and this is the School of Architecture of Montpellier. So, after this question of, uh, that we try to, to teach about this question of locality, we try to do it too in our, our own practice. So, um, we have the chance to uh, have some uh, different uh, uh, project and uh, in France with a system of uh, competition sometimes it's more easy for some uh, young architect to have uh, uh, the possibility to construct some uh, project and uh, we, we have the chance to could uh, quickly uh, win some this kind of competition and in this case to uh, construct some different project. So how practice it's at a different level first at the global level and in the global level it's more uh, with the competition the opening competition and uh, for example so um, we we did uh, uh, and we win uh, this uh, competition for um, a campus a new campus in Montpellier in our own city we win this competition with uh, Hitoshi Abe architect so uh, he's a two a chair of uh, UCLA and um, we know him from a long time so uh, we think that uh, it's very interesting to thinking the question of the campus in France with an American point of view and not only with a French point of view because the campus in France in fact it not exist for you it's a very common this idea of campus but in France the university uh, it's like an island in the middle of the city it's completely close. You have one or two points of entrance in the campus, but it's not open like you could have there. So the question that we have, it's uh, how we could do a campus in the city and a city in the campus, of course, with a question of heritage, because in France, we have many, many heritage. For give you an example, uh, the, um, the University of Medicine in Montpellier, it was the first university of medicine in Europe. It was created in the 12th century, so we have a very heavy heritage about the question of the university inside the city, and the campus arrived just a very, very long time after, and is completely disconnected with uh, the city. So, for start this project, we want to use another manner to think this development. And uh, we, we use um, a position of a French philosopher, it's Félix Guattari, and uh, he writes around uh, 1918, 96, I think, a very good book, and the name is uh, Three Ecology. And, uh, in this, uh, this book, he tried to think differently the question of uh, the sustainability, not only with the three models that everybody knows, but to develop another manner with this that is spelled the three ecology. So the three ecology, it was uh, first, of course, the environmental ecology. This is it's an evidence. And uh, we uh, use it but we use it to think small the question and to keep the link between the question of the climate, the time, the time of the city, and to work with the idea of chrono-urbanism, how you, the time and the rotation of the, the time in the city could be another manner to thinking it, the materiality, the specificity of uh, local material, how it could be used for create again a new a new thing, and the most important thing for us is to put in fact the man and the human in the center of this reflection, in the center of this question of the environmental ecology. 
environmental ecology for us is not only the question of a resource. Of course, it's a preservation of resource, but it must be more. It must be, again, to take care of the place where the people live and to, be a, to have a capacity to create a specific environment for the person who are going to live on this specific space. The second ecology, again, it's like the third that everybody knows, it's social ecology. But in the social ecology that is interesting, it's uh, uh, to start to thinking how we could connect differently the thing and how we could connect differently the people. So how, in fact, uh, the social ecology to be a manner to create some link between different people that it's not usually to speak together and work again with this idea that a building could be used during the day for one specific occupation and during the night for another. So this social ecology, it's a to, uh, this manner to bring a new link. And the end, the last ecology and it's the specificity of the idea of Guattari, it's the question of a mental ecology. So uh, for him, the third ecology is not necessarily the economic, but it's mental ecology. The mental ecology, in fact, it's a capacity of, of at everybody to think differently. It's uh, how you could uh, um, have how in, in, uh, how you have the possibility to be in a position to think the future, not only the present but to think differently the future and how your mental capacity, it was, it is one of the most important thing for create this new ecology that we need for develop the ville, the, the city, sorry, for develop the city and develop uh, the new urban condition of the people. So usually we have, uh, it's uh, just a, a, a diagram for explain quickly. So usually in France, and especially in the city of Montpellier, you have a city and university. Univers university is like a bubble alone, and it's really a physical limit. So you couldn't enter us in it. It's a very uh, strict limit on it. So that we want to do with this idea is to start to thinking differently the boundary, the limit between the two conditions of the life. And for that, we try to use the question of hybrid and how, in fact, when you cross the thing, how you could cross the scale, you could cross the program, and you could try to, to have another manner to work it. If you have a hybrid program, you start to mix and to work on, in fact, not a limit like a world, but a limit like a skin, a limit like a porosity, a limit that something you could go through and not that stop a different to a uh, universe. So, and on this system, so we try to find in each point what is the specificity of this point that it could be created and after create a large network at the scale of the city. So that's why we propose to do a, like an iconic building on this place, like it could be a, a place that you know with a very specific program, and after, at the scale of the city, we could, you could find different specific icon building, and the city could work no, just because it's like a new network. This new network, it's not like a center and a periphery. It's like each point must be work with another point. And it's a question of uh, equilibrium, uh, of egal of the territory. So we, we work with uh, a different intensity point, intensity point of uh, um, the medicine intensity point of the interdisciplinary intensity point of point sorry of the old city too, and how each each is specific. You couldn't use one alone, and this idea that it is the equilibrium 
it's in this system that the city could be developed and not with the part more important than another but with this question of how everything must to be to work together so and that is the proposal so it was a competition that we win for give at the university a, a urban strategy for a developed heat and we will see because of course with the urban scale it's a very 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 long time so we continue to work a little on it but I think perhaps it, um, it, it will take 10 or 20 years again for work on this project. So on each point we uh, propose to have a very specific how with the building with uh, uh, very uh, iconic in fact buildings that it creates this mixity, this uh, connection, this uh, limit uh, with the porosity or sometimes with a public space because uh, the avoid it could be another manner to connect the thing you could connect by the building but you could connect by the avoid too if it's in on the case of a public space and if it's drawing so sure it's a very uh, i say european vision but we work a lot about the question of a public space as a manner to create a link uh, and how in fact the avoid it will be another a very good manner to to create this uh, this link we did another competition and uh, we don't win it but uh, at the other scale and it's this time it's at the scale of the building and it was a car park so a very functional building but it's in the connection with the central um, train station of Montpellier and another part of the city. So, um, of course, for, for you it's very difficult, but uh, the, um, this is it's the center of Montpellier, and this is its main place of Montpellier. This is its uh, train station, this is its uh, parking, and all of this is a development of the city of Montpellier. And the question is how, in fact, this car park, sorry, it's right in French, but this car park could have the capacity by only the project to be a connection, to be a connector of different parts of the city. So, and how, in fact, you could have a building have the capacity when you go through to change the scale and to start from the scale of uh, metropolises, of uh, uh, multimodal platform or a lot of connection to arrive at the pedestrian scale and the scale of uh, uh, the city and the square especially. So we, we are very interested at this idea of uh, how in fact the, the architecture of course, it could be a beautiful building, but have the capacity to be a um, um, transformation of uh, the, the space, too. And it's like it's an object, sure, but how it's in a connection with the globality, it's like a connection uh, building. So, uh, in fact, we, it was a, a, sim a parking with uh, uh, nine level, and that we, w that we work on this idea that each level has a different scale of connection. So the ground level, it's a connection of ped pedestrian people and uh, with the scale of the city. This level, it, it was the level of the connection with the metropolises, with the large scale of the city. And the last level, it's a level we connect with the landscape because you could use uh, and you could enjoy about a beautiful view around all the city. So it's uh, not how, in fact, you could arrive by this scale, go on the scale of the landscape or go arrive on the scale of the pedestrian city. So that is what this project try to do and that's why we work on the specific entrance like uh, a big mouse in fact 
when you could go into us, like a train could interest in it. And after, you connect with a large public space that you completely change the scale, and it's just inside the project that you have, have the capacity to change, in fact, the scale of uh, uh, the transformation or of the transformation of the, the people. And on the, on the top, it's a disconnect because uh, we need the connection with a large environment and to opening with the landscape. Another, uh, another project that we did, it was a competition that we don't win. It was uh, there for the, uh, in USA, in, uh, uh, for Louisville. So that is funny, it's a Louisville, it's a um, sister city of Montpellier from now 50 years old. So it's a more old uh, sister city of our home city. So that's why it, it was very funny for us to do a competition in, uh, in Louisville. So the competition was for the Children Museum. And that we proposed, it was a toy box. It's the name of the project. So the idea, it's very simple. The, the museum has to take place in all the block. And uh, we want to use uh, the volume of uh, the project as if it's a toy box in it, you could put all your toys that you have and all your toys that you want. And at the end, in fact, it's like uh, uh, it's a huge scale uh, additional of like different box and different toys that you could be used uh, and you could be enjoy on it. So in the middle, we create a public space and a manner to connect all these different box by the void one uh, again. So with a different program and how you could see, in fact, that for us it's very interesting. It's again this manner to go through, to walk inside and to enter us in one manner, to cross different things and to go in the other. So this building, it's like an additional or small building. It's like a part of the city at a small scale, but of course with a contemporary uh, system. So after we think about the way that the environment see the building, because of course you have your own building, but, but that is interesting to thinking it's, uh, in fact, what is the impact from the environment and how they could have a vision of your own building. And after we use, of course, a sustainable system with a solar panel and the manner to reuse the water on the, the roof of uh, this different box. So this is it's, uh, the, the master plan that we propose. The building, so our proposition was there. Um, this is the project that we propose with this additional of uh, uh, different box. And so inside with this uh, space that it's uh, uh, between inside and be between outside. We really enjoy interesting by this uh, question of uh, the uh, quality of the space and uh, sometimes the ambiguity of the space does I am inside or I am outside, how I could create a specific environment. And this question of create an environment, it's that we try to do too on, on this project. Another project that we don't win too, but after we win someone, huh? don't worry. So uh, I'm going to show you some project that we win too. So, uh, but it's, you know, when, when, when you are architect, you lose many times. So, you must to start to understand that you are going to lose many time, many projects. But have some projects, you, you don't win it, but you love it. So that's why you are enjoy to speak about it. And uh, so it was an urban project for, uh, in Croatia, uh, Rijitka city. And uh, it was uh, an opening competition for Delta Plus. And in fact, it's a competition, so this is it's all the site of the competition. 
and uh, that we have to do is uh, to um, create a new, uh, new urban and to create a new part of the city with the, rec the connection with the old port and to create, in fact, a new, it's really like a new part of the city. But the problem is uh, you have a very different kind of uh, um, equipment. You have uh, some industrial parts, so it's not very enjoy. And uh, after you have the connection with the sea, and uh, you have uh, some other uh, old part of the city yeah, that we have to keep for this project. So the first idea is to, to thinking about the connection by the avoid one time again, and with the connection by the nature inside the city. How, if you create a park, a public space, that it could be a link for uh, create, in fact, the connection between the different specificity of a program and a connection between a different uh, generation of people who live in there. So we, we work about this uh, connection by the public space. It's like, uh, um, like a new carpet that you could put and you could connect everything on, on it with a different program. So after we create a very simple uh, connection by car, so we push the car on the other side, or all the side, that all the center it's only a pedestrian or bicycle only. So it changed the scale by the, the how we can say, but the time it takes to go on one point or the other point. So you don't have the same vision of the city if you cross the city by car or by walk or by bike. And uh, so that is uh, this idea that we try to develop too and to connect with the existing place like uh, a new network of a public space. And of course, work, uh, we work on the question of uh, the scale of the city and the proportion of uh, uh, to, to create a new environment, but to keep the scale of uh, the existing city and the connection with the water by this public space too. And this is, it was uh, the central public space that we propose. After, in the local scale, it's the scale where we are going to construct some projects. So uh, the first, it's not the first that we construct, but it's the first that I want to show you. Uh, it's, um, in fact, an activi IRA activity and uh, uh, the things that we want to do, it's um, usually an IRA activity. Uh, it's uh, only some uh, completely ugly box. And uh, it's during the day of some activity. After, in France, 5 p.m. have nobody. And everything is closed. And uh, it's an empty space during the weekend because nobody walks during the weekend in France. And uh, so it's completely pity to not use this space. And that we, we really want to do is to find a manner of uh, this space could be a new uh, public space, but open at all the population. So we create this, um, uh, in fact, it's uh, like a, um, a small village. We want to thinking uh, all this building, not like a box put uh, in the middle of nothing, but more like, in fact, um, a new part of a village. So we put all the, uh, the building in connection with a central, a small central park, in fact, and we work on the different way to connect and again the porosity but at the scale not of a building this time but at the scale of uh, urbanity at the scale of the city so that is the project uh, we propose and uh, it's uh, in, in this one it's uh, only some uh, office a huge office it's uh, administration and after it's a d uh, different, for example, one it's a bank, another it's a dentist, another it's a different activity. 
and we really want to create this park in the center and uh, with a connection with the water and like that it's like a, a pedestrian way we push on the side the car and after with this kind of porosity of urban porosity you could have a different manner to connect and to entrust how it's it's old town with uh, this uh, different manner to go in the center so um, and we want to create with a, a unity of uh, architecture, so we use only three material. It's a wood, the zinc, and the stone. And uh, it, we are really near the old town, and this is its uh, uh, very famous, it's not look like, but it's a very famous heritage uh, tower. And uh, you know, in, I, I don't know if you know, but in France, we have many, many rules regarding the heritage. And when you construct near this kind of building, you have many um, professional uh, uh, architects specific on heritage come to discuss with you what you have to do, what you couldn't do, so it's uh, sometimes very difficult to work with them. So, and uh, in fact, you, that we are very enjoy. It's uh, uh, during the weekend, the population really use this space. And it's not an empty space, but the people come just for uh, enjoy their time, for uh, create some animation. And uh, sometimes there are some very funny things, because of course have any fish in, in this small canal, but perhaps the children expect to have one. So uh, that's why, in fact, we, it's one in fact, the architecture has the capacity to uh, create a community of people around the space. For us, we think that we, we do our job and not just a beautiful building. House, uh, it's only one house we did. So uh, that is again a, perhaps a, a specificity of uh, our office. We never do uh, any house. So we just do some public building. It's a chance pass for us, but it's uh, come to uh, the French system perhaps too. So the only house we did, uh, it's uh, my house <laughs> and the house of my husband. So it's a house of uh, N and B. G is uh, not to live with us. So, uh, <laughs> The house, in fact, we have uh, an interesting uh, uh, place for do it, but it's very difficult because we have a huge slope of uh, the, uh, the, the, the place for put the, the, the house. So that we decide, in fact, but we have a marvelous view and uh, it's completely open on, on, uh, on this view. This is the south of the site, so, uh, and it's open on a very large scale, uh, landscape. So that we want to create, it's uh, to create in fact three entities uh, in the house and connect by like something like a large corridor. And each entity, it's like in fact a snake try to find its own place inside the existing uh, landscape. And uh, we, we did that because uh, in fact, we think the house like um, a capacity to create different landscape. We have, in this case, three different view. Of course, we could do uh, only a uh, building like that and completely open, but we prefer to create like a second of view on the large uh, <coughs> environment. And in this second, Sequence, excuse me, we have a, a full sequence, a construction, but we create an empty sequence too with a large terrace that we could use. And it's all the time uh, a read between a full and empty, full and empty, full and empty. And it's like a music, in fact, we want to have inside this site. So after uh, inside, in fact, it's very simple. We have, a, uh, it's like a sweet tube, in fact. We have the first with a kitchen, with a living room, and the second with a small room. This is a library, 
a main room and uh, the bathroom and the dressing. So I have a few things in fact in the in the house. So this is the image so of the house. Of course um, in France again we have a lot of rule uh, for the construction especially if it's for, it's for the house. For example we must to use the stone and we must to have the roof with the two uh, different slope in 30%. But that we want to use, of course, it's to be according with the rule because you don't have a, another position if you don't, they, you couldn't construct. But try to find, in fact, the other way to thinking. So we have a roof, of course, with uh, the slope, how they want, as the regulation asked to us, but not with the axis, in fact. And that we, we, we want to do, it's to use, in fact, this different way of, uh, of the roof to create some very different space inside, to be according with the regulation, but to have the capacity to create a more contemporary architecture than usually you have if normally it's... Uh, something like that with a, a very uh, horrible and uh, something like a ugly project. So, and after the other thing, it's um, we, we walk uh, again. So this is its other face. And uh, we walk with a, a different level, in fact, how in, in, inside, in fact, the, the house you change of, our, of environment, if I come back, you arrive by the road and you see nothing, but after when you arrive, you start to have like a, a new landscape in it. And the different tube, in fact, the different seconds, come uh, with a different connection of the landscape. So, and as you could see, we have a very beautiful view open on a large scale. So the empty, it's, a, it's too important than the construction. So, and to work with the seconds, it's a, a, a very important for us. After it's uh, inside, so I have a few uh, separation, uh, something like a few door, and after it's a connection with outside, and it creates a very private environment, and that is very interesting too. So this is its uh, large uh, window too, and uh, each this uh, system uh, has a bris soleil. Uh, in fact, it's um, because we are in the south, and we do it like uh, uh, a manner to uh, to connect, and it could open, and you could completely open and have a full view on <coughs> the landscape. And this is the view from the night. After that, we uh, construct uh, some... Uh, this is it's a renovation for high school in the Menton. Menton is on the east of France, near the, uh, the Italy. And uh, uh, in it, in fact, it was... Long, it was uh, uh, all... This is its existing and uh, another, it's, this one, it's existing, and we have to create an extension, but we have very few places for do this project. So the first extension that we create, it's uh, uh, this part, and the second, it's the other side, so it's this three block. That we want to do, it's uh, to give the image at the end of the renovation, that everything it's like only one unit. So for do that, we uh, we work with um, a skin of a building, and it's like if you put a new envelope, or of course a new building, but you keep the same for put it on the existing building. And that we try to do with this system. It's uh, with the wood, and it's a very interesting system because of course we are in the south of France. And for us, the most difficulty is the question of the sun 
and uh, not a, a question of how you could have some heat, but more how it, you could have a fresh quality of the space uh, inside, especially, especially for the high, uh, the high school. So with this very small uh, environment, we really want to create this new skin of a building that it's develop and create a unity. So how it's uh, uh, exterior uh, connection, you have again the same system uh, to create this unity of uh, this, uh, this school with a courtyard where the student could, uh, could stay. So, and that is very interesting. It's uh, to, uh, with this system, in fact, we create to the question, we work again with this question of porosity of the skin of architecture and how you could create the space between inside, outside, and try to develop, uh, in fact, a new, another quality of the space. So, upside, you are outside, but here you are inside, and that in fact you saw on this picture. And in it, in the connection, it's exactly the same down. So all the time you walk with the same envelope and to create different, uh, different space. And as you could see, it's a very uh, uh, stretch uh, space. So it's the entrance of the car park downstairs. Another project we did, it's only an interior renovation. So uh, it's a, a place where the people come to um, study uh, medicine. And uh, at the beginning, have only have a, a huge atrium, a huge void. And that we, we want to create it, to use it to be a connection, a new connection, of course by a stair, but we create like this, this um, it's like a box, but it's a box where the people could uh, enjoy some time, just stop, discuss together, so it's a very specific space that it could be hard, and after we could uh, add some other, because we have again some space, and uh, to... Um, if in fact not have just an empty atrium, but uh, uh, when you go to another courses or when you stop it for the students, in fact, they just uh, stop up there. Sorry. And of course, we work with a different color for give a different lecture. But it's only a, a, an interior renovation. And this question of the color, I think it's very important to for create a specific environment, for create a specific space, and like that, the people could identify very easy and could be in fact uh, quickly in link with the space. So it's like when you are in it, you completely forget, in fact, what it spent around you, and it's like a small environment create, especially for the person is going to use it. So it's again this uh, manner to think about uh, the, the scale of the environment. And this is a view uh, during the night from outside. Another project we, uh, we did, as you could see, this is it was for the army, so uh, we are very different clients, and uh, it's for uh, helicopter, and uh, it's a place for the maintenance for the, of uh, all the helicopter for the security civil. So it's an extension. At the beginning, of uh, only one part, and we create an extension on the both side. And with uh, this new facade, we want to walk with another image, another identity of uh, this project and of this uh, base for the helicopter. So the other thing we work, again, it is with this question of the bristle, so uh, how it could be used for identify, of course, the entrance of each helicopter, but to use to for uh, in fact, give a, a 
can we say, some shadow, and how, in fact, the shadow could be another material of the architecture. So the colors that we use, it's very simple, because, in fact, it's the color of uh, the helicopter, and we just put it on the facade, and it's a very large scale, so that's why we, we use this image with a human scale, because uh, it's very difficult to imagine, in fact, but it's a very large uh, door, and as you could see, if they change the color of the helicopter, it's difficult for the building. We have to change all the facade of the, like, of the building, perhaps. But this manner to work again with a double skin of architecture, with how you could create some between space and not only a very strict facade, and how this question of the porosity could be addressed again. Another building of high school. So this is it's a very long renovation. Uh, we start it, we finished the first building in uh, 99. And uh, the last building, it was uh, finished the last year. So we worked during 50 years on the same high school. So uh, keep your time. And uh, so this is an extension. And um, we work uh, with only one material, or with uh, uh, two material, with uh, um, a white concrete and uh, with a, a, a facade, an aluminum facade. So we want to create some envelope with the concrete and inside the envelope to put some different facade that it creates some different space. And uh, this is it's, uh, a part of the court for the, uh, the courtyard for the, for the student. Again, in it, we design a specific uh, facade and we create it specifically for this project. And all of uh, this part of the facade could move. And in this case, it completely changed the face of the project. So you have it there. It's uh, all, all of this one could move on all the facade and it gives an animation all the time and it's a manner to control to the light inside the, uh, the building, as you could say there. And to use again the question of the shadow uh, has a manner to, uh, to give another vision of architecture. So this is the last building that uh, we did uh, on this project with a very simple and very efficient, uh, in fact, uh, design. And we really want to work again on the, the public space and the quality of the ground. Um, we, we, we really think that uh, the manner of, the question of the proportion of the public space, but the question of the drawing of the place where you put your food, it's uh, so important for create some different ambience, for create some different space that the people, and especially there, in fact, the student could be appropriate by themselves. So uh, that we create too with uh, this, uh, this space. And it's a different sequence. Again, you could find this idea how to work with uh, a void with a full place, a building and a void, and how to create intimacy space uh, inside, and the public space with um, a small garden to enjoy your, their time just for the, for the student. Another uh, high school, it's a, a horticultural school. So they study how to the flower grow up, it's very interesting. So we walk, uh, we, we are on the construction site at this time, and we just finished the greenhouse. So this is the image the, that we, we did for the competition when we win it. And at this time, we just finish uh, all these parts. It's a very technology uh, greenhouse, and now we, are, we walk on this uh, new building and the renovation of this building. So I just show you quickly because uh, it's not finished and uh, we work on it uh, this time. Normally it's finished at the end of uh, the next year. 
a new project that we win and uh, we are going to start the study now. It's a technical center in Blagnac. Blagnac is uh, near Toulouse, so it's not so far off uh, Montpellier. And uh, the idea of uh, the project is uh, uh, to keep all the sites and at this time we, we, we try to work on different projects with this idea and to use the center like a specific environment for this project. After that, in fact, we open, we uh, put, in fact, sorry, it's only right in French, but uh, uh, like that I could say as I want, you couldn't understand <laughs> what is right. So uh, it's uh, in fact to develop two kinds of uh, facade. One is a mineral envelope, so it's very easy, the French, <laughs> envelope mineral. It's a mineral envelope that we want to, uh, to develop. And the second, it's uh, to, uh, to use the roof to create, in fact, a continuity, uh, like a new topography of the building. And to use the roof, uh, like a, a five, five, five facade, in fact, and we think that it's very important. So that's why on the roof, we want to create the connection with the environment too, and there it's a, a car park. In it, we have some uh, uh, street, and it's like a car park, like a garden, and we want to create the connection with this environment by uh, to put, in fact, the vegetation on the part of the roof and after to create a mineral topography of the building. So that is uh, the view from sky of uh, uh, the project with a different kind of roof and the connection with this new topography. So from the large view, it's really create like a small mountain, in fact, in the landscape. And after inside, it's a courtyard, a specific technical courtyard, so are completely protect of the environment. And the project work very, like very uh, a protection system to create this center. Another uh, competition that we just uh, win with uh, some other architect, it's some, very, it's some, um, some young architect, and uh, it's uh, library. So that it's usually, that have around the site and it's uh, common usually, uh, in fact, uh, house around. And we want to play with this environment and how we could transform it in our project. So we take this uh, shape of all this environment and usually you have this kind of the shape and we just want to organize a rotation of this shape and to change ju just uh, this orientation for create again a new landscape of this project. And after we work on the porosity of the skin and a connection uh, with the environment, so it's another manner to have a dialogue with uh, the construction environment. So we start the study too for uh, this project and uh, I think it's finished in uh, two years now. Another we just uh, win, it's uh, a sports center in the south of France too. And uh, we work with, uh, it's a very small, uh, it's in fact, it's a, sorry, it's a sports center, but for a college. So uh, it's uh, an equipment for education. So we, for this project, we work with a program and we put the different program, very simple, like a box, and we try to see how it's a good shape and how it's a good level of each part of this program because it's very different. The part where you change, where you put your clothes and the part where you play. So uh, you have a very different uh, shape, sorry, and the level of the building and try to connect, in fact, everything in this uh, question of the topography of architecture. And after again, with this question of the environment. So that is, and this is the image. Again, we start uh, to work on it. 
and the view of Nile, and all the time we really want to work on the public space connecting with uh, the building, not only a building like an object or mi uh, in the middle of nothing. The inside place and the place for play. And the other competition, so uh, it's uh, another library, uh, and usually you have this kind of position too, so it's just a building, and after you have uh, nothing around, and you try to connect as you could do. But in fact, the scale, uh, the site is more large, and this is the result they want we do, but we don't do that. We use, in fact, all uh, the surface that we could use for put the project, and we want to create a connection with uh, this uh, uh, garden and uh, with uh, this main place of the city, like if you keep a, a part of this place and you put it in the middle of the project. So that's why, in fact, we prefer to create a building like a full, uh, a full space and create an empty space with a public garden specific for the library and to enjoy your time when you're going to uh, take a book or see a video or as you want. So, it is a master plan and the view of inside. The connection, again, you have on, uh, on this case, you have two faces. The faces with the urban connection and the faces with a connection with the inside garden. So like that, you could have different environment in the same place. This is the image of the garden inside and the view from outside. And the last project, it's a project about our home office because we just moved off office. And now, of course, we are three associates, but we have uh, um, 14 persons with us in the office. So we, we are there. So it's really in the center of Montpellier. It's in the old mansion uh, of, uh, of the center of Montpellier. It's a very historical uh, building. And this is the door of the office. And we do, of course, ourselves the renovation for create our new uh, office. So it's a very simple, um, in fact, office. And uh, we, we really want to uh, keep the quality of the ground. It's uh, some very uh, historic and specific manner to do uh, the floor of the apartment. It's with uh, some stone, and uh, so it's very beautiful, and uh, it's not usually to found all the apartment with this kind of, uh, of, uh, of floor, too. So we really want to keep it, and after to put very simple things like a box and uh, uh, with a simple environment, just one part we couldn't keep it, so we want to cross, in fact, the heritage with a very contemporary uh, architecture, and especially with uh, this, uh, this kind of floors that we, we, we use. So this is its uh, 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 meeting room, so we keep the scale of, uh, we have uh, 4.5 meter uh, of uh, between the, the, the floor and the roof, so it's a very large scale of, uh, of the room. And we, really, we want really to keep all the, and to mix the heritage with the contemporary thing, and especially by the light, by the furniture, by uh, to, uh, the, all the furniture. So as you could so here too, and there. It's uh, another place that we could use. So with a very simple and minimalist. Of course, now I have some person, I have some drawing, I have some computer, and it's not exactly like that. <laughs> I have many things on it now. But we try to keep in order. We try. And the last part of my presentation, it's... Uh, really about this question of uh, how, as an architect, you could be engaged in the promotion of architecture and in the promotion of the other architect. 
We think that for us it's uh, very important to help some young architect and to work on the promotion of the young architect. So that's why we create uh, a festival in Montpellier. So uh, the name is a Lively Festival of Architecture. It's um, in French, Festival des Architectures Vives. And uh, in fact, that we, we want to do, it's uh, since 2006, it's uh, to work with some private courtyard in the center of the city of Montpellier. As I showed you before, where we have our office, in Montpellier have a 17 old courtyard. And each year we invite some young architect to do some installation in this very beautiful courtyard. The main idea of this festival is in fact to uh, give as a young architect the possibility to have a first installation, a first production, to open this marvelous courtyard at all the public because usually it's a private and nobody has the possibility to see it to discover this part of heritage of the city. And after, to start a discussion with a large public of the connection between architecture and heritage. So from the last year, we start another part of this festival in La Grande Motte. And it's another manner to promote to the question of heritage because La Grande Motte is a very new city but it's a contemporary heritage, that it's a very uh, funny thing. And in La Grande Motte, the team of architecture work more in the public space and they create, in fact, some installation. It's during one week in La Grande Motte and only oh, 10 days in La Grande Motte and only five days in Montpellier. And it's completely differently phased. We create two uh, some pavilions and from uh, 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 11, sorry, we create some uh, six pavilion. For that, we invite some young architect from the south of France, and we give us this uh, possibility to have, again, more interesting and uh, very good interesting uh, installation. The pavilion is a place where the people come to have more information. Each year, the number of uh, visitors grew up. Last year, we received around uh, 10,000 visitors uh, and 14,000 visitors between the two festivals. So it's a very popular festival, and we are very enjoyed that everybody, the children, the grandmother, come and take some pleasure only during this festival and discover another manner to think and to do some architecture. That we want to show, in fact, it's, a, of course, architecture, it's this building, it's a building, it's a huge building. But architecture, again, it's a capacity to give you some uh, good time, to change with a few things completely the face of the space. How an architect has this capacity with a really few things to change completely the environment of the space, of uh, existing space. So as we don't want, uh, th this festival it's open only as architect, but uh, we don't want that the student to cut the link with the student, so that's why each year we invite some uh, university. We start of course with the uh, own University, with the School of Architecture in Montpellier, and after we invite some different universities from Japan with the Tokyo University, from Barcelona, Elisaba or Hiyak, from Quebec with the University of Laval, uh, from USA with the Kentucky University and the GSD from Harvard, and from uh, uh, Finland with Alto University. So we will see for the next year which university. So that is interesting, it's the student could take part of the festival, but in a pedagogic system and create uh, their own installation, but with a professor. So that is some installation that uh, some school proposed and did it in, uh, during this uh, festival. And uh, that is interesting, it's uh, have a very good uh, level between the uh, young architect and the School of Architecture we invited. 
So this festival, it's a very global festival because we have many people come from uh, everywhere. So I have some architects come from uh, France, of course, but uh, it, last year we received 260 applications and we select 10 teams for Montpellier and 8 for La Grande Motte. So uh, it's, uh, um, in fact, a very large scale of this festival and we really want to promote the young architecture and to give the chance at all these architects to uh, do an installation. So uh, we invite you, of course, in Montpellier in the next June. Uh, the next step of the festival take part from the 10th to the 4th of June and at La Grande Mode from the 20th to the 28th June. Of course, all of you are welcome in Montpellier and La Grande Motte, and if you have some architects, you could uh, apply before the 5th December. Thank you. Uh, we have time for maybe uh, two questions. <laughs> Can all the smart people um, in the room please stay? Also, time is difficult for the question. <laughs> yeah, we're fielding questions. Go ahead, I'm sorry. In your experience, having I don't know, excuse me. <laughs> Having talked in the US already, um, what's your experience in terms of uh, the differences in American education and kind of some of the differences we have in our approach that maybe aren't as productive? Good question. <laughs> <laughs> Difficult here. <laughs> um, no. That I saw because I don't see everything, and uh, but in fact uh, I, I couldn't speak in general because uh, uh, in U.S. education have many manner to uh, study architecture. If you, um, um, of course, I teach in in Kentucky. It's the only place where I teach. After I teach in Canada, it's North of America, but it's another system too. And after I take part at some uh, critique in Harvard or in uh, in Columbia, and I saw three different manner to uh, give the education in architecture. So that's why I couldn't speak in general. But. Um, I think that we try to do, for example, in the master, in the uh, uh, um, southern metropolitans, it's uh, um, to, and it's it's not especially for us. Have many school of architecture try to do that. It's to more take care about the question, the urban question. For example, in Europe, something very important. It's a question of a public space and the connection of the city and uh, because we have old city, we have many heritage place and uh, here the question of the dilatation of the city and in this case the question of the public, scale, the public space it's on the other scale. So it's not that you not take care about that and we we take care, it's just the question of the scale and the manner to thinking uh, the, play, the common place if we don't want to speak of public space, it's to think the common place. And this is, I think, it's really in link with the scale of the city. Uh, the center of Montpellier, in uh, 20 minutes, you go by foot. You could go from one point on the other point. Here, uh, you have few <laughs> cities that it's possible. So, and in this case, uh, that I, I saw, and. Uh, it's you walk more, or that in that I saw on the process on the construction of the shape, 
And I learned a lot about that because we, we, we don't integrate a lot uh, this is in our education system. How, in fact, the, scale, the shape of the building is created? What is the process of create a shape? Of course, with a, a computer system, but with a, a, a research system too, with a shape. And I think in Europe, we work less on this question. So that's why it's very interesting because uh, uh, I could pick up some good things there, <laughs> some good thing, and I hope to give at my students the best part of the both. Uh, but it shows that it's a question of the, the process, uh, the process of the shape, it's not a large part of the education, in fact, in, in France. We are more influenced by the question of the context. And how that, you could show in my, in my project too, how the context, in fact, constrains the shape. And uh, um, in, in your system, and again, that I saw, it's more how, in fact, a shape could create a context. So it's a two manner to enter us, in fact, in the project. And I think the boss, it's, uh, it's interesting. It just, uh, um, when I saw that, I said, yes, in fact, I never thinking like that. But it's a, just another point of interest in the project. I think it, 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 it's, um, it's not to thinking only an object, uh, but of course some, some, some thinking as only object, and uh, some thinking only, uh, in my opinion, but it's my European vision, the, that it could be uh, dangerous in this system. It's uh, to be more fascinated by the system to create a shape than by, by the result. And so sometimes, perhaps, the, the limit and the, the dangerous thing, it's uh, the system uh, come in first before, in fact, that you create. And that you create is just a result of the system. And you, you, you lose, perhaps, you, of course, you, have the, you, you keep your capacity of creating the shape because you stop the system at what? At, at moment, so and it's your decision as architect, and it's your uh, responsibility to stop the system because you have a good shape. But that I saw, and with some students, it sometimes they are more fascinated by the process, and in fact, the shape is just because it's a time to finish. Mm -hmm. So and not, and that it could be dangerous, perhaps. Uh, it's. The problem is you, if you construct at the end, as architect, we have a huge responsibility regarding the society because we are not artists. He, if an artist did a bad painting, he could put it on the, on the back, on the, on the room, and nobody see it. If an architect did a, a bad, bu ba bad building, everybody see it. So we have a huge responsibility regarding the society. So. If the process comes to be more important that, than that what you create, I think it's a limit of the system. 